tunneling through the mountains, which goes from Hollywood Highland Station to Universal City. It's a tunneling under great depth. The greatest depth somewhere here is about 900 feet. It is the most ambitious transportation project ever undertaken. The system is going to be 19 miles in a very short period of time. And at $300 million per mile, the most expensive. The machine, when it's mining full time, it, it'll do about a set four foot advance every hour. You can't get out this way yet. Until its completion in the year 2000, it is a journey few will take. From the tunnels, carved beneath a mountain range and through an earthquake fault. We've already mined all of this distance. And we are right about here now, so we've only got about 500 feet to go of 12,500 feet. To the stations, each a unique architectural and artistic vision. This is Hollywood and Vine and one of the world's most famous intersections. The supporting columns have been designed to uh, look like palm trees. We have uh, embedded uh, and recycled film reels which line the ceiling. To the miners, many who have worked underground for generations. My son, he uh, started as a miner. My father did the same thing, and, and his father had a mine, gold mine in Browns Valley. To the controversy that has brought national attention and local outrage. The building is cracked from the roof all the way across to the extent that you can actually see daylight. They told me, you know, that they would go ahead and help me until my club reopened within six to eight weeks. And that was two years ago, and I'm still closed down. They're gonna foreclose on my house, and uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do next. To the milestones that will shape the future of the city of Los Angeles.